What's happening, coffee drinker pandas? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, just picked this up from Minos, MinosLiving.com. And it's another mocha coffee pot. Now, I think I'm pronouncing mocha right. M-O-K-A, not mocha, like M-O-C-H. Like that sugary, delicious coffee drink. Uh, the mocha, the coffee makers are really awesome. And I just wanted to show you this one. This is like a four cup one. And keep in mind, when we talk about the mocha cups, we're talking about like a two ounce drink. So an espresso like drink. Now it does come with an extra silicone gasket here and then some instructions. I'm gonna show this to you. Uh, but I'm really fascinated with this because I'll be honest, the mocha coffee makers that I had growing up were like these octagonal things and they were kind of all over the place, but they just uh, weren't particularly beautiful and they worked well. But to have a, a pot like this that just looks more contemporary, this beautiful polished stainless steel, and it looks like kind of any other, you know, kettle. I mean, that's the really nice thing. And of course, obviously it has a lot of weight like the, the mocha brewers will. Um, you know, mocha coffee making is a little bit like, a, I don't know, splitting the difference between an espresso and a coffee. Um, I really consider them espressos. You know, you're basically steaming water through coffee grounds, kind of pushing it through there and brewing a cup of coffee. Now, like most mocha coffee pots, this is a two pot contraption. You get the bottom one here that has like double walled um, stainless steel. There is a little safety bleed off valve right there. You can see how robust everything is. Uh, you would fill this up, you know, not over the safety valve, but you would fill up the bottom here with water. Now, most people will say to use hot water. You can use cold water too, but some say the, the taste isn't as bitter when you start with hot water. So you would fill that up. And then what you do is you put in this piece, the funnel. And as you can see, there is a screen there. So you put this in here and then you will put your coffee grounds uh, in here. Now, a couple scoops of them is probably good enough. And again, the, the grinding of the coffee is gonna be a little more coarse. If you make it too fine, it's gonna kind of push through these screens uh, as well as it's gonna be a really, really strong cup of coffee. Then this is your tapper. It's another little screen and you would just kind of um, even out the coffee right there. So you would just kind of do that. Um, I don't know, I've never really had to do that. I just kind of level off the coffee, but you don't keep that in there. Then you take this, the top portion, and here's where you can see that silicone seal that uh, keeps it nice and watertight. And then when you screw it down, it creates a nice tight seal. So I'm just gonna screw this all together here. So you'd have your water and your coffee grounds on the bottom. And then up here in the top, as you can see, it kind of uh, Coke bottles up here. And we also have a nice uh, distinct spout. And then you have this pipe, which has a couple of openings. And so as the water gets forced through those coffee grounds, it kind of sp spurts out like this, like an espresso maker, fills this up. And again, this is the smaller one. This is only a six cup or a four cup one, I'm sorry, four two ounces. So you'll probably get eight total ounces out of it and a nice big hinge. And you can see how the, the, the stainless steel top here is actually double walled. You wanna leave this open when you're brewing so you, that you can watch it and then you would close it up before you serve it. But beautiful construction. I mean, man, everything is just super robust. There's no question in my mind that this thing is a little bit overbuilt and just great. Even the handle here, um, maybe hollow inside, but you can just feel how thick uh, and durable, you know, how robust the metal is on this bad boy. And then once you get that, you can just pour yourself some little shots of espresso and it's usually just unbelievable. And it's an easy way to do it at home without a lot of expensive, you know, equipment, without, you know, an espresso maker. Uh, this is just really, really great. So obviously you would put it over high heat to do that. But man, another awesome product from Minos. This is just an unboxing first look. I'm going to be trying both of these because I need something to get myself going in the morning. If you want to pick this one up or check out my other video on the six cup version, definitely check those out. But I'll put a link to this one in the description below if you want to pick one up. Peter Ron Panda, out!